Okay, today we're talking about calculating um, the interest and maturity value on notes. Uh, just to give you a little background, a note is a written promise to pay a certain amount in the future on a specific date with interest. Notes can be either um, receivables or payables to the company because other companies or other people can owe notes to the company or the company may have other um, parties that they owe money to in the form of a note. So if it's, um, if it's owed to them, it would be an account, a receivable, notes receivable on the balance sheet. And if it's money they owe to someone else, it would be a notes payable. Also, uh, the time period that it's owed back in, if it's less, if it's a note that's less than a year, it would be a short-term note and a current asset, or if it was a liability, because it was owed, it would be a current liability. If it's more than a year, it's going to be long-term a long-term asset or a long-term liability, depending on if it's owed to the company or the company owes it to someone else. To calculate interest, it's very simple. We just take the interest equals principal or face amount, meaning the amount that's borrowed, times the interest rate, times the time. Okay, let's look at each one of these individual notes. You should also, if you downloaded your handouts, we'll find this um, information on that as well. Um, the date of the note, the first note here is January the 1st. The face amount is $10,000. The interest rate is 12% and it's due in 30 days. So let's go through it to calculate the interest. To get the interest, we're going to take the 10,000 times the 12%, which will give us 1,200. And then we're going to multiply that by 30 days over 360 days. You see, um, notes are, the interest here with the equation is a year. So if it's less than a year, we take, uh, we take it as a fraction. I know there's 365 days in a year, but for the purpose of calculating notes, 360 days are the amount of days that are used. So if we take that 1,200 times 30 over 360, we should get 100. Okay, going on down to the next one, it's dated February the 1st. The face amount or principal is 15000 at 10% for 30 days. So if we take the 15000 times 10%, that's going to give us 1500 And you don't even have to take that out of your calculator. You, and then you can put in the 30 over 360, which is going to give us 125 And then going down to the last note here, it's dated November the 15th. The face amount is $6,000 and the interest rate is 8%. So we take that 6,000 times 8%. That is going to give us 480. And then if we multiply that times 60 days over 360, we should get 80. So that is our interest. Another thing um, when we're looking at notes is, to, is the term maturity value. Maturity value simply means the principal amount plus the interest, what, it, what is due on the due date when the note matures. So if we go back up to this first note, it's due, it um, was a $10,000 note and there was $100 interest, so that would be the maturity value in 30 days would be $10,100. The next note, it's a $15,000 note. Um, with $125 in interest, so that'll be $15,125 will be the maturity value. And the next note down here is $6,000 the, um, with the interest of $80, so the maturity value would be $6,080. Okay, the last thing I want to do is to look at what is the specific date that that note is due on, and how do we calculate that? Sometimes it's not as easy as it might look. Okay, for this first one, uh, January the 1st, this is a 30-day note, um, and January has 31 days. If you don't know that, you can look at a calendar. So if we add 30 days to January the 1st, we would come up with January the 31st as being the due date. But let's look at this next one. It's dated February the 1st. It's also a 30-day note, but how many days are there in February? There's 28 days in February, unless there's, it's leap year and there's 29. So if it's dated February the 1st and it's not a leap year, 
we could take, we would take, uh, I guess I'll just come down here to do this. We would take the uh, February the 28th minus February the 1st. And that gives us the number of days until the end of February. Well, now we've gone to 27 days. So how many days do we need to go into March before this is due? 30 minus 27 gives us 3. So this note would be due on March the 3rd. Okay, there's one more note down here. Um, it's dated November the 15th. And it's a 60-day note. So now we need to know the number of days in November and December. It looks like it's going to cross over into January. November, if you look at your calendar, has 30 days. So if we take um, the 30 days, the November 30, minus the 15 days, which was the day it was dated, there's 15 days it's going to be um, in, in November. Then we'll go on into December. December has 31 days. Uh, if you don't remember that, uh, you can look it up on your calendar. I remember it well, probably because I've had too many New Year's parties. All right, so we'll add 31 days here. But we still, you can see just by eyeballing it, we still have not reached the 60 days. So if we add these two together, we get 46. Going on into... So we're going to be going on into the new year, which is January. Um, if we take 60 minus 46, that gives us 14 days. <clears throat> so this note will be due January the 14th. I hope that this has helped you uh, to... Uh, with this particular topic, it's really a very simple process to calculate interest and maturity value of notes.